Hey everyone, this is Andrew Ty and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to go ahead and install Marvel Spider-Man Remastered on the Windows PC. That's any computer running Windows 10 or 11. And this is quite special because Spider-Man was a PlayStation 4 exclusive released back in 2018. However, it's now been released on the PC for the very first time. And we can go ahead and download and play this as long as you have a compatible computer. You no longer need to use PlayStation Now in order to do this. You can do this locally and it's going to play much better than streaming it over the internet. So if you haven't subscribed already, then please consider Consider subscribing and you'll be able to keep up to date with the latest tutorials. So the first thing you're going to be aware of is that you need to have a powerful computer. That's because this is a DirectX 12 game and it's going to require a powerful graphics card, for example a GTX 950 or later. You also need a relatively new CPU. So as long as you've got a computer that's say built in the last five, six years, then you're probably going to be fine. However, if you don't know much about computers, then I'll really ask someone to help whether you think that this processor and your graphics card is going to be enough to be able to run this game. So the first thing that we need to do is to go ahead and download and install Steam. So if you don't have Steam already, this is simply a storefront where you can go ahead and buy and install games on your personal computer. So on the top right hand side of the screen here, we're going to click install Steam and we're going to click this button here, which is going to download the Windows installer for Steam. So once that's done, what you're going to do is to click on the bottom left hand side here and click on steamsetup.exe and this is going to launch the Steam setup application. So what we're going to do now is press next, we're going to select our language, we're going to select where the actual Steam app application is going to live and now Steam is installing. So once Steam is installed, so when I press finish, this is going to run Steam. So once this is installed, we're going to be met with the Steam login screen here. So if you already have a Steam account, what you can do is just type in your username and password. However, if you've never used Steam before, you can go ahead and create a new account here. Just fill in your email address details and follow the instructions in order to create this account. And once you've created the account, what you need to do is to press the login button and we're going to log in now. So when you log into your account, you're going to find the library button here. This is going to have all of your existing games. However, what we're interested in is a store. So I'm going to click on store here and then we're going to go to the search bar. So we're going to type in spider and then we'll find Marvel Spider-Man Remastered here. So this is the Steam store page. If you scroll down here, we're going to press, we're going to buy this game. So we're going to press add to cart. And then once you're ready, we're going to purchase for myself. What you're going to need to do is to enter your credit card details and complete that purchase. And once that's that's completed, we're going to move on to the next step. Alternatively, what you can do is to use a third party reseller like Games Planet. I'm going to leave a link to this in the description. You're going to find that this is going to offer you a better discount. So just going to show you how to do this. So in order to make a purchase, I'm going to press add to cart and then press buy now. And then once we're here, we're going to enable the product. And then what we're going to have is an activation code. I'm going to go ahead and select this and then copy this. Then we're going to go back into our Steam client here. We're going to click on games and click activate a product on Steam. And then we're going to press next and then agree. Then I'm going to paste my product code and and then press next. Here it's saying it's activating and now we have Spider-Man attached to our account. Here it's asking us to install the game. What we're going to do is to install it into its default location and press next. Here it's saying it's preparing the game to install. So here under library and downloads we can see that Spider-Man is downloading it's a 65 gigabyte file. So this is going to take several hours to complete. Once that's done, we're going to move on to the next step. So once the download of the game is complete, we're going to be able to play this game. So what you can do is just go to the library and we're going to search for Spider-Man. And then you'll see that this is now a playable game. So what we're going to do is go ahead and launch it. So here we can see that there are various settings that we can change. For example, if your computer is not as powerful, what you can do is change some of the presets. For example, I'm going to change mine to medium. Here we can see the resolution screen information. I'm going to press OK, and then I'm going to press the play button. So here I'm going to select limited analytics, and then I'm going to choose a friendly difficulty, and then I'm going to press the start button. I've just put this game into windowed mode, and you can see that we're running this on the Windows 10 operating system, and it's running on PC. So anyway, that is how you get Spider-Man Remastered working on your computer running Windows. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like, like, please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.